New at five, a major breakthrough tonight in HIV therapy that could be the beginning of a cure for AIDS. White blood cells that are genetically engineered to be immune to the AIDS virus. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us how it works and why researchers are so excited about this one. Doc. That's right, Maurice and Alice. Scientists have known for decades that some people seem to be immune to HIV infection. Turns out about 1% of Northern Europeans have a genetic mutation that prevents the AIDS virus from infecting white blood cells called T cells. Now researchers have made normal T cells HIV immune. Jane Johnson has been HIV positive for more than 20 years. He considers himself lucky since he's remained healthy, but says his drugs are a daily reminder he has the virus. I would love to say one day I'm HIV negative and to be able to come off of meds. That's why Jay decided to enroll in a gene therapy study at the University of Pennsylvania. Researchers say they were able to successfully genetically modify the immune cells of 12 HIV positive patients to make the T cells, a type of white blood cell, resist infection. And that might be a step towards eventually making the immune system of the patients resistant to HIV. In the lab, researchers engineered a gene mutation in the patient's T cells, removing a receptor the HIV virus needs to infect cells. The altered cells were then put back into the patients. The therapy decreased the virus in some patients, including one who had no detectable levels of HIV. About eight months ago, Jay's doctors told him his modified T cells are still circulating in his body. If I could stop that virus from being within me, um, it would just be absolutely wonderful. Researchers say if they can make the immune system resistant to HIV, it could mean patients like Jay would no longer need their medications and perhaps even be a cure. Now, much work still needs to be done, of course, before this small study becomes an available therapy, but it is proof that the concept can work. And better yet, when the same genetic engineering is applied to stem cells, those cells make lots of HIV immune white blood cells, which could be a long-term cure. Alice? All right, Dr. Max, thank you so much. Well,